Well, hello, fellow diamond painters, cross stitchers, knitters, crocheters, whatever hobby. <laughs> it's DP Crazy Lady, finally. Um, it's 1.45 a.m. It is, uh, it's considered the 16th now, <clears throat> excuse me, of April, uh, 2024. And uh, what you see before you is uh, Sierra River Fall by Chuck Pinson. I started it on March 28, 2024, and this is where I've uh, gotten to. It is uh, 28 inch by 22 inch, or 71 centimeter by 56 centimeter. Uh, I was working on the uh, cross stitch. I'll bring it up tomorrow uh, on... Uh, Wednesday uh, I'm almost getting the top half of the Fox uh, stitched it's a slow process because there is so much uh, uh, confetti you know a couple stitches here this color a couple here a couple there it's really in, intense in uh, that uh, where I'm at and the uh, you know, there's 44 colors here and there are four ABs of this It's by diamond art uh, Where I'm at right now Is I am right here on the bridge About here and over in that area so uh, I apologize. I was going to be on here on uh, Sunday. Let me get the light on on this. <coughs> Sorry. I was going to be here on Sunday. It started out at a halfway decent day. And then all of a sudden, it just it started getting colder. The temperature dropped. It was like 78. And the temperature dropped like between 15 and 20 degrees within an hour or so. And the clouds just uh, came in. I mean, they were dark. And uh, let me find a color here a second. Um, usually I can talk, you know, and chew gum at the same time and diamond paint and whatever. And right now I'm like, okay. So anyhow, it, it came in and then all you saw was white lightning all over the place and my lights kept flickering and then it started raining it just poured and poured and poured and then halfway through it or it seemed like like halfway through it it started to like lessen a little bit and then we got bits of hail very small but bits of hail and then it calmed down, it stopped, and it only lasted, all of it only lasted, a, you know, a couple hours or so, and then it just drizzled the rest of the night. So there was no way I was going to do a uh, video yesterday, not taking any chances on anything and losing my electricity and wouldn't have mattered, you know, to try to get a video up then. And then Monday, oh, well... Oh, being that that storm happened, the puppy panicked. I don't know if it was the lightning or the the rumble, the all the rain I, and the wind, and I mean everything had just whipped right up. And he was restless all night. So of course, I was restless all night. So. Um, that's, you know, kept me up all night. And then I ended up sleeping until like, well, I didn't get to sleep until like four or five in the morning. That's how tired I was. And I didn't wake up until 11 or 12. And it just screwed with my whole day. So, Jan, uh, Keeling, I, I didn't get to the post office. Uh on Monday, but I am going first thing uh, this morning. They open at 8.30, and I will be <clears throat> going there. Um, oh, 
won't show any addresses and stuff, but the package is wrapped. It's in a uh, an old Prime uh, Amazon Prime package, so it'll be going. <clears throat> excuse me, first thing in the morning. So as soon as I get it out there um, and shipped, they will give me a tracking number. I'm sure. And then I will email you. <coughs> oh, my throat is so dry. I will email you a uh, tracking number. I finally got a tracking number from the other cross-stitch shop that uh, wants me to review their uh, uh, pro uh, products. I have not uh, heard yet from GBFKE with the tracking, but I'm sure they've got one. I just have to wait for their response. But, oh, Monday was, you know, all day on Monday, it was just a bad day. I kept napping on and off. I was so tired and drug out, and I didn't do anything. I, I didn't do diamond painting. I didn't, you know, do any cross stitch. I just... It was just a bad day all the way around. And uh, the neighbors next door, uh, I think they swung by finally um, sometime yesterday or whatever it was. Or no, the night before because that was the fifth of the storm and the rain and stuff. I mean, I suppose they had to check on their dog because they've left that dog in there the dog is in there uh and i didn't see anybody come to like let it out or you know so they may have a mess to clean up and i feel so sorry for that dog it is a pit bull um and she does go crazy when she sees liam uh outside and I am so afraid she's going to come through that window because she just climbs and bangs on that window and barks and carries on. So, and if there's nobody there to stop her, she's going to keep banging at that window like she did today. Uh, well, Monday, because it's, to me, it's still Monday until, until the sun comes up. So, but, uh. Yeah, I mean, I, I worry for that dog to either bust through that window and come after one of us or after Liam, and he's on a leash, you know, or come out and break out that window and cut herself so bad she bleeds to death out there or something. But I don't know, they must be staying... You know at friends or something like that because there's still no electricity over there and uh, you know nothing i mean there's no heat no electricity no nothing no water that i know of <clears throat> they may have water on uh, if they if they're paying their rent every month and they have water because that's included in the uh where you have to you know it's you pay it you pay the water bill and sewer so I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there, but I'll tell you. What did I drop? I don't even know what I just dropped. Something fell. Um, the, uh, uh, yeah, that, that mobile home needs to be taken out of here. It's a real, in really bad condition. And the park keeps selling, you know, they'll go in and, uh, like putting lipstick on a pig. They'll go in and paint it and try to fancy it up a little bit or do a little bit of work in it and then to resell it and, you know, hope that the people stay for a while to pay for what it costs them to fix it up a little. But it's got mold and it needs to be removed. But I don't know who to complain to because uh, since this is private property, the city apparently has nothing to do with it. So I don't know. 
and uh, the owners being in Texas aren't going to do a dang thing. They could care less, you know. So, um, what we had for supper on Monday was uh, a little pork chop, small little uh, pork loin type chop, and a sweet potato and some applesauce. Now, tomor <clears throat> tomorrow for supper, or today when you see this, which would excuse me, which would be uh, Tuesday, you know, um, when you see this, I I'm, I'm took out some um, of the uh, shredded rotisserie chicken that uh, Aldi sells, took it out of the freezer, and I'm going to flavor it up, but barbecue it up a little bit uh, with some, you know, onions and peppers and make my own barbecue sauce and stuff and, and cook it down a little bit. And then I'm going to roll it uh, in a wrap in some of them wraps that I have. And, you know, put in lettuce and tomato and cheese and such. And then we're going to eat that acorn squash. It's a pretty good size acorn squash. So my daughter eats half and I eat half. And that's what our supper will be tomorrow or today. I, I get confused with it now because it's nighttime. So on Tuesday, dinner. That's what we're having. <laughs> uh, it's getting closer to my mother's birthday. I'm waiting to hear you know, when they decide that they're going to start getting together, you know, the plans and stuff. Because my family has a bad habit, and my mother does the same thing, and I hate it. They wait until either a day before or two days before some, or sometimes they'll do it right on the day and go, okay, you know, come on up here. We're doing this, this, this. I hate last-minute plans. You know, let me know ahead of time. So that I can, you know, make arrangements or I can, you know, do certain things. I hate it when people do stuff like that. You know, last minute, you know, oh, come on up here. We're going to, you know, everybody's coming up. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Tell me now, you know, an hour or two before it all happens. A good one, you know. So I guess I'm going to have to get hold of my sister myself. Because sometimes, while well, she works and she goes vacays and, uh, you know, hangs with her fam, her own, her, fam her family down there, you know, her kids and all that stuff. So, no telling if I'll even be able to get hold of her. That's why sometimes through Facebook I have to, hey, what are you doing, you know. And I hate social media things like that. You know, I don't want it written on air. I want, you know, talk to you either face to face or on the phone or something. I don't need my stuff on the internet like forever, just like YouTube is. But, you know, if I got something to say. I want to say it to you and talk to your face. I don't want it on there forever. You know. So, uh, I'm working on this and hoping I get it, I, I got to get it done, and I started the other day working on the uh, welcome gnome, and it's coming along okay, uh, it's, I haven't uh, done the uh, two-placer on it, and I've yet to try a two-placer on this, I keep saying I'm going to, and I haven't, uh, Maybe I'll give it a shot in another day or so when I, you know, remember and have the drive to do it. Um, it's hard enough keeping squares uh, straight when you're doing a single, you know. And I love squares. I, I do like squares because they, especially if they fit nice like this. You know, these are, I mean, they look kind of crooked right now, maybe sloppy, but... As you place the other ones in, and then I straighten them anyway, they really seem to click together on this painting for some reason. 
So these ones must be, you know, pretty good. Though it had, uh, you know, some static as per usual. And see, it's funny. I had static like crazy in these square drills from Diamond Art. I opened up the uh, the drills for the uh, Welcome Gnome. Not one bit of static. And it's round, but not one bit. Every Diamond Art I open up, I get them jumping all over like Mexican jumping beans. So, that's why I can't say it's, uh, you know, maybe it's, you know, heat in here or cold or whatever. So, no, it's the way they're packaged. I honestly believe that or, or something's going on with the way they uh, distribute them or make them or whatever the issue is. But I am tired of the uh, static. I am sick of it. Because it takes total enjoyment out of uh, kitting up. I love to kit up and it's fun. I enjoy it. And it, it just takes the whole pleasure out of it when you got that much static. So, how was everybody else's week this week? Uh... Well, it's, you know, it's only Tuesday, but how'd your weekend go? I mean, hopefully better than mine was. <laughs> With the storms and such, it's just awful. And uh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for uh, like a solid, uh, you know, two or three day weekend that where it's nice, nice. Uh, because uh, then my daughter and I are going to go outside. We're opening up my uh, storage shed. And it's going to be emptied out. I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff that I'm just setting out on the curb. Uh, you know, I tried to have yard sales before. Nobody wants to buy it. But boy, let me tell you. You set it out for free and it's like, it's a free for all. <laughs> you know, they, they just show up like, you know nobody's business oh free okay i'll take it whether they want it or not oh it's free okay let's go uh it's going to be a lot of christmas decorations a lot of easter decorations uh i'm going to keep a few of the halloween decorations because my daughter likes those um you know there's uh knickknacks and bric-a-brac and uh, I have my antique phone stand out there. I'm going to have to clean it up and see if if there's some place in here I can rearrange and uh, bring it in. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just so much stuff out there. Now, older, or not older, but <clears throat> other appliances, you know roasting pan electric roasting pan you know different things that i don't use anymore that uh need to be gotten rid of so you know it's mostly anytime you had something and you rearrange rearranging your 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 house you say okay well i'm not going to get rid of it right now let's just stick it in the shed and that's got to stop i've got to uh size down and that's what's going to happen i need to have room in that shed that when i open up the door it's not like fibber mcgee's closet and it all falls on me so it it's just going to be you open the door i can get any get to anything i want i mean i i two or three years ago i bought i don't know how many blue bins i mean big blue bins and wrote on them as I put the stuff in and you know those are stacked way in the back but then all of a sudden stuff you know from in here started heading out there without being put in a bin you know or repurposed in there somehow and it just started piling up and piling up so that's got to end it's they've got to I, I need to bring in there's a few bins out there that I know I have a couple empty ones 
I want to bring them in here and I want to clean out my closet and put the stuff in the bins and some of that can go out to the shed and some of it can stay in my closet but once they're in a bin you know they take up less space because they you know are stackable instead of everything I've got in there kind of stacking on top of each other and falling over you know so it, it won't do that so and that's the extent of my uh, conversation I think um, not gonna do anything you know on it this Tuesday but sit in diamond paint and cross stitch and you know see you know where I can get to uh, I don't plan on going back to sleep now that I'm up because I want to uh, get my schedule back you know I don't want my days and nights all messed up again so I'll be staying awake and uh, going to bed on Tuesday night at a halfway decent hour you know around 11 and then I'll probably be waking up at uh, eh, probably around 4 or 5 in the morning because that's usually you know 4 to 5 hours sleep maybe sometimes 6 hours sleep and I'm good so hopefully you know I keep thinking if it I don't know why it is, but, you know, I'll be sitting here talking to y'all, and as soon as I get off, I'll go, oh, shoot, this, I needed to tell them this, or I needed to tell them that. I don't think there's anything left to conversate about. I, I haven't bought anything else. Uh, don't have the money for it, really. Um. I do have to uh, go down to uh, Dollar Tree and get a few gift bags you know, for my mother's stuff. We'll get those because uh, I, I believe her birthday. I think I it's the twenty eighth, and I think her anniversary is the twenty sixth. So, you know, or like I said, vice versa. I I, I get those. You know. Because mom said, you're always getting those confused. I said, yeah, well, you're always getting confused on how old I am. So, turnabout is fair play. Um, I do have to get some gift bags so I can put the items in there. And other than that, that's about it. I hope my other sister is going to pick up my brother and take him out to mom's. Because I can't, I only have a two-seater, I cannot pick him up. There'll be no room for my daughter. <laughs> so, um, I think that's, oh, I know what I needed to tell you. I know what it was. Uh, and V, you might be interested in this too, because you bought uh, one of those, uh, cases the storage case and remember I showed the card that said you know you contact us for a you know a free diamond painting well they contacted me within about two days and the uh, one they were offering I didn't care for it was sunflowers or something and I said I'm not interested in that but they said they do customs and they would do it for free. So I'm going to see when I get it. Because they said they, they did it. So I want to see if they send it. Uh, I sent in a uh, photo of, uh, emailed a photo of Liam when he was just a little bit younger. Not, you know, he hadn't changed that much. So I sent it in. They said they made it and they were sending it out. So, and I know it says it takes like five to ten shipping days to get here because it is from China, of course. So, when that comes in, we'll see. I guarantee there's going to be three million and one confetti.
in it. I will guarantee that. See, when I used to do uh, cross stitch a lot, they had that uh, thing pattern maker and uh, PC stitch and such. And uh, yeah, you could make your own cross stitch design. You could put a photo in and do it. And unless you were really artistic and you ended up letting that machine pick it itself, you know, the shades, the colors in it and everything. Oh my God, the confetti and the strangest colors, you know, I mean, you know, you'd get purple in the face and, you know, and, and uh, oh, just weird colors, you know, so unless you know uh, how to design and tone the picture and so on so forth, you're going to get a heck of a mess. So I'm wondering how they do customs, you know, because this, you know, is a rendition of one of his paintings, one of Pinson's paintings. Now, if this was hand picked, you know, the hand, you know, you look at the colors and they hit the symbols and say, okay, this color and that color goes and that's where, that's one thing. When you let a machine or a computer pick it, oh, no telling what kind of shading you're going to get. And that's why sometimes I see people get those uh, customs and they're like, oh, this is awful. And that's why. So, you know, mass production type deal. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. When it shows up, I'll show it, you know, on YouTube. And we'll see what it looks like, you know. So, at least it was free. You don't have to pay for it. You just have to, uh, you know, give them credit that it was one of theirs. And if it's, now, if it's a good rendition, then they ought to be proud of, you know, having it uh, shown if it's not that's on them so we'll see we'll see what we shall see i figure uh toward the end of the month or the first week or so of uh, may that's when it'll probably show up so because I, I don't expect the ch i count weekends you know, for shipping and delivery and travel and all that. So, well, I don't know how long I've been on here. Doesn't matter. I'm going to get off here. And, uh, oh, my daughter had gotten a different uh, creamer. I still use my hazelnut, but she had, uh, she wanted to check out some limited edition uh, creamers. This one's okay, but for some reason it kind of tastes like a burnt flavor to it, but it's uh, a blueberry and cheesecake. <laughs> I think it's by Coffee Mate. I'm not sure. It's okay. Yeah, not that good. Uh, I forget what the other one was that she bought, but she bought a couple. And this is okay, but I'm not that crazy about it. I'll stick with my hazelnut. So, <clears throat> okay, well, I'm going to get off here, do a little more diamond painting, um, figure out, I think I got to boil some eggs so that, uh, have them for breakfast. I want to make a frittata, uh, frittata. I'm going to have to do that, and I'll, you know, I, I make a good size uh, enough of one in the cast iron skillet that uh, uh, it, it'll last for like a week. You just cut a little slice out like a pie and uh, have that for breakfast. That way it's already made and low calorie and low carb and so on. Now, frittata, they are really good. So, all right, well, <clears throat> I'm going to get off here. 
uh, sorry for the delay in the uh, video don't mean to do it but it, it's just been it was just a couple days that were weird so y'all have a uh, good Tuesday hopefully the weather's you know better at your end than it was at mine it wasn't too bad today uh, had the windows open for a little bit but heat's on right now because it's gotten chilly damp is what it is so have a good one enjoy your day and uh, you know sip your morning coffee and if you have to go to work you go to work be safe if you're not in your home enjoy the day hugs love you all DP crazy lady I'm out